My name is Damien, and I'm a club kid. Boys and girls have been a part of my life since 2010. I was a club kid as a teenager here. My name is Erlen, and I've been at this club since 2016. My name is Joe Buga. I became a member of the Pasek Boys Club at the time, back around 1962. My name is Timothy Arias, and I've been here for half of my life. My name is Kayleen. I've been at the Boys and Girls Club since 2014. My name is Larry Umania. Uh, I must have started at the club when I was about seven. My name is Marion Parks, known as Marion Medina, also known as Grandma. I've been at the Boys Club 34 beautiful long years. Hi everyone, my name is Gary Zook. I am a former member of the Boys and Girls Club of Sake. I started when I was eight years old. I was a camper, I became a counselor, became an assistant camp director. Along the way, I became Boy of the Year in 1969. I went on to become the treasurer of the Boys and Girls Club of Passaic, uh, then the director, a member of the board of directors, and uh, now a lifetime supporter of the Boys and Girls Club. I think the club was really uh, home away from home. I, I certainly spent a lot of time there and developed a lot of friendships. Coming here to the Boys and Girls Club, it got me out of my comfort zone a lot. I had started dance. And in dance, you have to work with everybody. So of course, I had to talk to new people. I had to make new friends. It's a blessing to be here. They're just amazing people, and they try their hardest for us. And it's obvious. They provide us with books and gifts, clothing. And it's just amazing. I have no words. I love this place. I love the club because the way we take care of not the child, but the whole family. We don't leave no one out. I've been part of the organization as a club kid myself. Came here with my family and then I ended up being a volunteer. And now I am a unit director at one of the units and now my son is following my footsteps. The history of the Boys and Girls Club is unique. Uh, we get parents that come back all the time that was club kids a long time ago and hearing the old stories how this clubhouse was just a boys clubhouse and then you know hearing it when it remember when it turned into boys and girls you know um, from Miss Parks being here for so many years and the building going through so many different changes and me being here for the amount of time I've been here and seeing the changes that's happening you know it's, it's unique to see the building um, evolve in itself and also for the future. We open our doors for the community and um, we embrace everyone that comes through that door. Um, we're diverse with all the families that come in through the door and we have staff that represent each child so everybody feels welcome. We're here in this beautiful pool, all right, thanks to Victor Cruz, um, but it didn't look anything like this at all, you know, and um, this pool I think was the beginnings of my of my career, my future. As a single mother, I, I had no one to take care of them after work. I used to get out at a certain time. And just knowing that I was able to have a backup system that helps me to watch them. And the most important part is um, to do their homework. My two older ones, they're very shy. So when they started, they had participation with the Christmas show, dancing and stuff like that. Um, I see the difference with them and knowing myself that that they're in a safe place, safe environment. It was a safe haven for me here. It was, you know, I met new people throughout the city, um, throughout the community as well. And people already knew me from playing high school football at Patterson East High. So it was just a connection. And then when I came back from college and I was looking for a job, once I turned 18, I put in a resume and I was able to obtain a job here. An experience that I wish every child had. I learned how to be accepted. I was drawn into the club. I was made to be respected. I learned there there was nothing I couldn't really do. I remember how impressed I was with what the club offered. And maybe I realized that as I got a little bit older and I always wondered what magic hand gave the people who ran the club these staff members, the wisdom, never mind the knowledge or whatever, to have these programs. 
that nurtured children, kids, regardless of their background. I believe so much in the Boys and Girls Club. What they stand for, they back it up. And they make sure that um, each child is taken care of, respected, honored, and we guide them so they could, from little kid to older children. We guide them in the right direction. We're like the mom, when mom is working, so we're their parents, and, and we're their grandparents, and we're their counselor, and we're the nurse, and the cooks. That's why I'm here. Because this was like the beginnings of having a kid to learn what it is um, to work hard for what you want. You know, this building at some point will make you successful if you stay long enough. For the future, what I see, like, I believe Boys and Girls Club is gonna be a, a, a ultimate pillar in the community. And I'm an example of that. I came, I was a single mother when I came here with two children. I lived in my car with my kids for a week and, a, you know, a couple of weeks. And I said, this is not for me, because I came from an abuse marriage. I came here and they accepted me and they made me feel special. And, and I matter, and my life matter, my children matter, and they taught me that I am somebody. And I'm sorry. And because of this place, look where I'm at today. I am so grateful. So I have so much to give back because people gave me an opportunity and they, gave, and they guided me in the right direction. And I fell a couple of times, but they picked me up and they said, it's okay. We make mistakes, but we're gonna fix it. And to this day, I am so grateful. At some point, there's a kid like me who could probably swim, you know? And he's probably only seven and eight years old. And unless somebody sees that, you know, nobody would actually be able to take him and say, hey, you know what? Come this way. I think you have something, you know? Let's put you in a situation where you're gonna be successful. And it was done to me. And I think, you know, this is the type of place where that's what we do. We find kids, we see kids, we, we, we direct them in the right path. You know, and hopefully if they stay long enough, they get to tell my story and sit here one day.